Hi everyone, and welcome to a special Goon Squad tutorial. Uh, my name is Zero, and this is our series finale, or season finale. I don't know, depends on how things work out between me and the boss. So, this is, for the most part, my last tutorial in the series of meshing and everything tutorial. And it's so special that we had to take precautions in making it. This program took so much effort, so much time, and so many people to make it so we can release it to the public. It was originally made for our rival group, but somehow we managed to get our hands on it. And when we got it, we did checking on it and turned out it had some viruses or whatever inside of it. I mean, they, we checked it and it said it was a false positive, it was the encoding, but I didn't trust it and I didn't want to give it to you guys if it was dirty. Because, you know, if you guys use it and then it backfires and if it did have viruses in it, they'll be like, oh, well, we told you those Goon Squad people put viruses in their stuff. So, no. I wanted to make sure that this program was as safe as, you know, we could get it. With that said, I'm not 100% sure that we got everything out of it. So, this is a seriously one of those use at your own risk. But I've been using it for a while and it seems to have been working for me. I mean, through all that's how I was able to make uh, the fan thing that you guys seem to love, the dev kits. So maybe you can make your own dev kits. So I guess with that said, uh, you figured out what the program is and what the tutorial is about. This tutorial will show you how to extract rigged mesh from Second Life. Now, I'm using it on stuff that I already bought, um, but you can use it on whatever it is to help you with your projects. I'm not one to judge, nor one to talk, so you can do whatever. For this tutorial, you'll need the Meshes Goon Squad Edition program, which is on the website. I can't host it on Mega because I know once I do post it there, those white knights are going to probably do something and report it and get it taken down, like, you know, my first class stuff it was. So, um... I'm just posted it on the Goon Squad website, so you can just go over there and download it, and then you can follow along. You also need a Darkstorm viewer because that's what it's designed to work with. But if you've been following my other tutorials, you probably already have or really should have a Darkstorm one. I'm using 3.10 OS edition, and uh, it's the one I like the most. So yeah, let's not drag our feet on this anymore um, this is our last time so let's make it special all right um, what you're gonna need to do is grab your texture location your cache location because that's how the program works we're gonna grab the cache location from Darkstorm while we already have it open so I'm just gonna enable my menus back and then you're gonna go to I think avatar and then where is it preferences then go to where is it network and cache and your cache location you're going to want to just let's click open for now because then we can have it open at all times uh, it should open I think it opened oh, here it comes so we have our cache open and we have the location of it. So I'm just going to take this and minimize it for right now. And then we're going to hit um, OK. Uh, well, while I'm here, we might as well clear out the cache while we're at it. And I'm going to... Right here. And we're going to do another hard delete like I showed you before. So just select everything and then press delete. And I'm just going to wait for it to finish. It's kind of amazing how far we've come since we started, isn't it? I taught you guys a lot of things. Have you been able to make a lot of things from these lessons? Hmm. 
I bet this will help you, especially when you're trying to copy the weights from that dress or whatever. So things should be a lot easier once you got this down. And it shouldn't take long. My cash isn't that big. It's supposed to be like two gigs. I should make it bigger from now on. <laughs> Every time I think about pausing the videos, whenever something gets done, I should think about it more often. Alright, so my cash just cleared out, and I think it may have froze. Because all these second lives I got open. Alright, you know, you get this error, you just click the button down here, and then just say skip. And then I'm going to minimize it, not close with me. Actually, I'm going to close because I have some other windows that are open. Alright, so what I'm going to do is open this, and we're going to open this again, alright, and we're just going to minimize it, mm, minimize it, alright, and then hit OK. So we are going to close uh, Dark Storm and then go open up the program, so be right back. Okay, I have it here on my desktop to make things easier. And uh, sorry for all the clutter, you know? I have a lot of crap on my desktop. So when you get it, you'll see there's two folders. A day folder, a SLM folder, and then Mesh's Goon Squad Edition. Or just may say Goon Squad. I think I may have forgotten to change the name when I um, hosted it on the site. So you're just going to click on this, and you're going to get the splash screen. Hopefully this is the pretty one and not the one with the typos that I made before. Okay, so just wait for the flaunt, the splines to finish. Okay, so when you open up, it's going to give you a, a warning that says make sure you select uh, the texture folder. And that's this right here, the data.db b 2xx path and that's where your, your cache is so you're just going to I think you can paste the let me go back to find that folder so you're just going to take the location of your cache cut close it and I think pretty sure you can oh you can't navigate there so you just push this button and then navigate to where it is wherever you install Darkstorm. So by default it would be like uh, users and you just navigate your way there and then press OK. Yeah, that's what it'll say. So wherever you installed it, that's where you would put here. So we have this open and you cannot have uh, Darkstorm open with this open. We have to, what do I have to do? Close Darkstorm first then open this and then open Darkstorm again. So I'm gonna, with this open, I'm gonna log into Darkstorm. Okay, so I'm back in Darkstorm and I have my cache reloaded and everything that's around me, which is pretty good. And for the sake of this, I'm just gonna grab my hair because I effing love this hair so much. So I'm going to right click on my hair. Now normally when we do a mesh extraction, I will tell you to do the save as and then do collada. Uh, Alright, so I have my hair and I want the textures, so I'm just going to save as. I don't know where I'm saving to. Oh, my gotcha braids. <laughs> so I'm just going to create a new folder real quick. New folder. <sighs> Sorry. Laundry. Maybe I should have did laundry first, then did a tutorial. <laughs> Alright, so I have my hair, and remember, no special characters. I'm going to hit enter and export this because I like the textures. Alright, 
Now we're going to go back in to this and a dark storm, select the hair, if I can grab my hair to turn, uh, hair, then dark storm, then export XML, shocking right, and then we're going to click download textures and export, and then I'm going to just hit OK. And that's it. Now, if you want it to work, we have to close Darks Term again because it can't read from the cache when you have Darks Term open. So once you exported everything that you wanted to export, we just close Darks Term and go back to the program. <sighs> sorry, so sorry. Alright, so what are we going to do now? We have it all set, so we're going to click this XML file to read, this button here. It's going to go to my tutorial button, and I'm just going to select the blonde hair. And it's going to show me what I want. So we're going to push copy the slim mesh files to all models. If you get an error, just hit continue. So let's try that again. No, no, I may have to quit and then reopen this again. Sorry, but at least you get to see what happens when you run into the error. So I'm uh, totally doing this on purpose. Shifty eyes. <laughs> All right, so let's reload the program again. All right, let's try this one more time. So I'm opening up this. And I'm going to copy it again. There we go. That's how you do it. And then we're going to create day files for all models. And it should work. Now we're pretty much done with this. So I'm going to close this. And I think it will be inside here. At least that's what my friend said. And he lied. Alright. Um, tutorial. And yeah, blonde set files to upload, and it tells you the stuff, and it sends you here. So I would just click that, and then open file location, and it will give you a string of numbers. But this is indeed my hair, so I'm just gonna cut this right here, and let's go back to my tutorial folder, which is right here paste it right there to where it is and I'm just gonna go over here to uh, all right so I'm back in here so I'm going to go build upload mesh model but I see it tutorial and I'm on the mesh here. Oh wait, that's the let me close that. That's the unrigged one. So let's try that again. Mesh. And it should be this gigantic string of numbers. Wait for it. Wait for it. Any minute now. It should be a loading. There we go. And all the bundle of joy that is. So, try textures, and of course, it didn't take, which sucks, but you know what? We can just add that later. No big deal. Turn this to zero. Turn it to zero. Skin weights. Upload. And this is on the real grid, not the beta one. So, I'm spending money for you bums. Come on, second life. Go, go. Yeah, there we go. Jesus Christ. May want to jazz it up a little bit and blend it or reduce it, but this is just to prove a point. So let's see if it comes in.
Maybe I should pause it? I'm sure the anticipation is killing people. Alright, alright, I'm gonna pause it. Give it a second. Wait, wait, wait! There it goes! Alright! So let's take this. And then where? Let's see what happens. I may lose my clothes. But I should have beautiful hair! Ah! Uh, oh. oh, Mickey Ficky, I forgot to push where. Alright, add. There we go. Mm -hmm. And there you have it. My beautiful hair. Let me detach this. And as you see, I now have my beautiful rigged mesh hair. So this is how you extract uh, Second Life mesh, rigged mesh and import it back in now you obviously you'll have to retexture it but i reckon that's a very very small price to pay uh, for being able to use the skill um you can take all your rigged mesh clothes and avatars even you know those fancy bodies you guys like to have Alt of Second Life and into the OS grid. So, the thing that was holding back so many people, like, uh, I don't want to do it because I'll lose my body, or you know, I'll have so much mesh I have bought, or whatever, <laughs> that restriction isn't holding you back anymore. So, yeah, I hope that this tutorial helps you out. Um, I hope this series has helped you out, and I hope you'll be able to create a lot of things based on the tools and knowledge that I've given you throughout this time. Uh, this is my last tutorial and I have to say that all of this was really fun. If you need this program, feel free to get it off the Goon Squad website where it can't be removed. <laughs> so I thought that was the best way to place to put it. And as always, have fun and good luck on your projects. This has been Zero to Tiff and I guess I'll see you guys on the grid. Bye.